Hello, my name is Nanda. I'm a technical marketing engineer working at Cisco Systems. In this short video, we will look at how to configure site-to-site -site VPN between two Firepower Threat Defense FTD using Firepower Management Center FMC. I'm going to use this topology for this site-to-site -site VPN demo. In this topology, we have two sites, site A and site B with FTD on both the locations. We have Firepower Management Center, FMC, at the site A to manage both FTD. I have pre-configured some basic settings on both the FTD, such as configured interface, routing, and access control policy on both FTD. In this video, we will see minimal configuration required to establish IPsec site-to-site -site VPN between two FTDs to protect traffic between 10.10.10.0 network to 10.20.20.0 network. Without further delay, let's begin the configuration. In this Firepower Management Center, I've added both the FTDs Firepower Threat Defense for Site A and Site B under Device and Device Manager. I've already configured IP address, routing and access control policy for both the FTDs. Under FTD site A, I've for gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0, I've configured it as an outside interface with IP address 192.168.1.1. For gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1, I've configured it as an inside, in, inside interface 10.10.10.1 IP address. For FTD site B device, for gigabit 0 slash 0, I've configured it as an outside interface with IP address 192.168.1.2. For gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1, I've configured it as an inside interface with IP address 10.20.21 IP address, which is as per our topology. Let's click VPN tab, VPN tab under device to configure site-to-site -site VPN. In this top, VPN topology view, let's click Add VPN and you have two options, Firepower Device and Firepower Thread Defense. Click on Firepower Thread Defense to configure site-to-site -site VPN for site -to, uh, FTD. Let's give a name for this site-to-site -site VPN. Under Network Topology, we have three options, Point-to-Point, -point, Hub and Spoke, and Full Mesh. For this video, to configure site-to-site, -site, I'm going to select Point-to-Point -point as a Network Topology. For IKE version, we have both the options, IKE V1 and IKE V2. We can choose either of IKE V1 or V2 or both. For this video, I'm going to choose IKE V2. The next is to configure endpoint. I'm going to add FTD site A under node A and FTD site B under node B. This VPN interface would be your outside interface of FTD. The protected network is your inside interface of both the FTD. I'm going to click add endpoint to add FTD. Under the device drop down menu, if you click, it will list out all the FTD that are managed through this Firepower Management Center. In this Firepower Management Center, we have FTD site A and FTD site B. I'm, for this node A, I'm going to choose FTD site A. Under interface drop down menu, it is going to list out all the interface that are configured under this FTD site A. We have inside interface and outside. I'm going to choose outside, which is going to participate on IPsec tunnel. On the IPsec address, it automatically lists the IP address that are that is configured on this outside interface. For this connection type, I'm going to choose bidirection. Apart from bidirectional, we have two more options, original only and answer only. The other two options we will cover in other videos. The next is to configure the protected network, which will be your inside network of your FTD site A. I'm going to click select protected network, which is going to list out all the network object that are configured on this Firepower Management Center. Since we do not have the inside network, uh, inside network of site FTD site A, I'm going to create a new one by clicking add button. 
I'm going to name it as site A hyphen inside network with network IP address network at address as 10.10.10.0 slash 24. Click save. After creating the network object, it is going to list that newly created network object in the network object window. I'm going to select it and then add it to the selected network. Click OK and then which is going to select a network object is going to display under protected network. Click OK. With that, we have completed the configuration of node A. Let's go to node B. Click add endpoint for node B. Select drop down menu and then choose FTD site B. On the interface, choose outside interface. On the IP address, it is going to automatically display the IP address that are configured on outside interface for FTD site B. Connection type, I'm going to leave it as bidirectional. For the protected network, I'm going to click select protected network. Again, we have to create a new network object for this inside network of site FTD site B. I'm going to name this network object as site B hyphen inside NW and then network address as 10.20.20.0 slash 24. Click save. It's going to list the newly created object in the network object section. Select select the network object you want to add it to the network selected network. Click OK. By clicking OK, you have configured node B. The next is to configure phase one and phase two I Ike and IPsec settings. In order to make the configuration simpler, FMC comes with a default configuration for Ike and IPsec. In order to in this video, in order to show the minimal configuration required to establish site to site, I'm going to leave this configuration as default without changing any settings. But if you want, you can go ahead and change the setting for Ike and IPsec. For the site to site, we have configured as preset key settings. The preset key has two options one is automatic, and second is manual. If you choose automatic, which is a default setting, the FMC is going to choose a random preset key and then configure the same for both FTD to establish site to site VPN. If you want to manual, you can choose manual and then configure the preset key. Um, key value on the key section for this video I'm going to leave it as automatic with the pre key length as 24 same with IPsec if you wanted to change the transform uh, IPsec proposal or any other life lifetime duration or lifetime size you can go ahead and change uh, on this window with this we have completed the site to site configuration let's click save the next is to configure access control policy. Go to policy and access control. I've already configured two access control policy, one for FTD site A and one for FTD site B. First, let's configure an access control for FTD site A. I'm going to click edit of this access control policy, AC FTD site A. I'm going to Create a new rule by clicking Add Rule. I'm going to define a name for this rule. Action I can have either allow or trust depending upon your security security policy. Go to network, choose the network object which we have already configured. Site A if a network would be your source address and site B inside network would be your destination. Click add. Now we have configured access control policy for FTD site A. Click save. The next is to configure access rule for FTD site B. I'm going to click edit icon and create a new rule by clicking add rule. I'm going to define a name for this rule. Action, I'm going to leave it as allow. I'm going to go to the network and then choose site B hyphen inside network as my source and then site A hyphen inside network as my destination and click add. And then to save the configuration, click save. 
with this we have completed the configuration of site to site VPN the next is to deploy the configuration to the device click the deploy icon which will show your deploy policy window choose both FTD site A and site B and click deploy this is going to take a minute to deploy the configuration to the, both the devices to check the deployment status let's click click the status icon here now it says both the deployment is successful it's time to go and uh, trigger some traffic and check the VPN to test the VPN I have two PCs one is on site A which is uh, S site A hyphen PC1 with IP address 10.10.10 .10 .10 net IP and I have another PC on the site B which is with IP 10.20.20.10 10. let's try to do a ping test from site a which is 10.10.10 .10 .10 to 10.20.20.10 now I am in the inside host with the IP uh, which has an IP address of 10.10.10 .10. I have another host which is on the site B which is 10.20.10.20.10 .10 .10 .10. I'm going to generate a traffic from 10.10.10 .10 .10 to 10.20.20.10 Let's see if it works. Yes, the pin, ping is successful. So now I'm going to log into FTD to check the status of the tunnel. First, we are going to issue show ISA KMP saw. It shows the tunnel from 192, 168, 1.1 to 192, 1.2 is up, which is from FTD site A to site B with the child CA as 10.10.10. .10 .10 10 10 10 0 to 10 20 dot 20 dot 0 network let's check for ip6 or it too shows that tunnel is successful we could do we could do the same cli check on the ftdp also with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it thank you